welcome, welcome, welcome to The Tonight Show, everybody. Thank you for watching. Thank you for being here. Uh, guys, it's a very busy time in New York City because the UN General Assembly is officially underway. Yeah, more than 100 foreign leaders are in town to address the assembly, while some are just here to pick up a fiancé for 90 days. <laughs> I love when the UN General Assembly is in session. There's no greater joy than watching the president of Romania walk into the M&M store. <laughs> Seriously, when else are you going to spot the president of Latvia holding one of those restaurant buzzers outside Bubba Gump Shrimp? It's like, <laughs> our table's ready, let's go. Of course, the main focus of this year's General Assembly is fighting COVID. Yep, nothing like holding a super spreader event to tackle a pandemic. <laughs> There's actually some real concern about the General Assembly turning into a super spreader event because, and this is real, the UN is using the honor system to check vaccinations. <laughs> the honor system? I don't even trust the honor system when I give out candy on Halloween. It's like, please take one. Oh, I know you're going to take it. Honey, they took the bowl. They... We don't even have a bowl anymore. Next, the UN's going to be like, we believe further conflict with the Taliban will be avoided thanks to our latest pinky promise. The first leader to speak this morning and address the pandemic was none other than the unvaccinated president of Brazil, Jair Bolsonaro. Yeah, that's like attending a weight loss conference and hearing, please welcome our first speaker, Colonel Sanders. <laughs> After Bolsonaro spoke, President Biden then made his address to the UN General Assembly. It was the first time he spoke to a room full of world leaders confidently knowing that they didn't have him on mute. Yeah, Biden talked about the pandemic, climate change, and the withdrawal from Afghanistan. When he watched, former President Trump was like, Psh, I got way more laughs than him. <laughs> way more laughs. People are talking about this today. The U.S. Space Force unveiled a uniform prototype for its members. Finally, look at this. Hmm. Oh. <laughs> right now, every New York City doorman is like, are we in the Space Force? <laughs> Can we're wearing. Can we see it again, Rick? It looks like a line cook being yelled at by Gordon Ramsay. Go to space with you, donkey! Go to space! Seriously, by the time you button up that jacket, the space war is gonna be over, you know? <laughs> yeah, that is the new uniform until Jeff Bezos buys the Space Force and turns it into this. <laughs> I love that. He, he looks... <laughs> He looks like a mashup of Buzz Lightyear and Woody, doesn't he? <laughs> uh, here's some good news. Johnson & Johnson announced its COVID booster shot is 94% effective when given two months after the first dose. People who got the J&J &J were like, yeah, that would have been nice to know about uh, three months ago. <laughs> Actually, everyone who got J&J &J was like, we already got boosters. They're called Moderna. Oh, this is great. I saw that Google Meet, Google Meet is going to start automatically adjusting webcam brightness in users' browsers. Yeah, and it's not the only new feature they're adding. Take a look at this. We here at Google Meet are excited to announce a brand new feature to make your experience better than ever. That's right. When you click New Meeting, it will take you directly to Zoom. Google Meet, at least we're not Skype. Yeah, isn't that amazing? That's amazing. <laughs> <laughs> and finally, a pair of 107-year-old sisters in Japan just claimed the title of world's oldest identical twins. Wow. Yeah, and just to creep people out, they stand in the hallway of their retirement home and say, come play with us. <laughs> uh, guys, as I said before this week, the UN General Assembly is uh, with leaders coming in from all over the world is happening. They're going to give speeches, they're going to meet each other, but sometimes when you meet new people, it can be hard to break the ice which is why a lot of leaders come prepared with their very own getting-to-know-you icebreakers. I'll show you what I mean. It's time for tonight's show, Icebreakers. Tonight's show, Icebreakers. First up, we have British Prime Minister Boris Johnson. His icebreaker is, which fork do you use to comb your hair? Yeah, yeah. It's a nice icebreaker. Yeah. Get you into the conversation. Uh, next up, we have Latvian President Eggles Levitz. His icebreaker is, hi, my friends call me Latvian Wolf Blitzer. Big one. This is just icebreaker. Yeah, just break, just break the ice. Uh, next up is uh, Finnish President Nini Sta. 
His icebreaker is, I'm sorry, you might not recognize me without my Joker makeup. It's interesting. Wow. It's an icebreaker. Yeah. Here's uh, Prime Minister Bennett of Israel. His icebreaker is, do you like my resting kissy face? <laughs> Up next, here's U.S. President Joe Biden. Oh. His icebreaker is, you remind me of my buddy Jasper. He invented the wheel. That's his icebreaker? Wow. Next is Estonian President Kal Ulite. Her icebreaker is, you appear weak. I bore of this. <laughs> Next up, we have Prime Minister Modi of India. His icebreaker is, why does Macy's keep offering me a part-time job for the holiday? That's a good icebreaker. No one, yeah. <laughs> Uh, and finally, here's Brazilian President Jair Bolsonaro. His icebreaker is, I'm unvaxxed, sashed, and ready to get trashed. <laughs> That's all we have for tonight's show, Icebreakers. Hey, hey.